Well, I don't. We didn't have the start that we wanted, but maybe that was uh, maybe that worked out the best. They scored a minute or so in, and then we were, you know, it forced us to to I think get a little bit more focused. I thought we I thought we had good looks at the net through two periods. Um, um, congratulations to to BC. They're a tremendous team, and as you can see, if you lose your focus just a little bit with them. Like when they went up 3-1, I think that uh, obviously um, put, you know, our, some of our guys lost, or, you know, the wind in their sails a little bit and it doesn't take them uh, very much. You give them skating room, which we limited it, I thought, through two periods um, in, a, in, a, in a good way. But I think when we got, when we lost our focus a little bit, you know, they were able to, to um, get some good looks at our net and it doesn't take them very much there highly skilled team so congrats to them extremely proud of our group uh, you know it's it, it, you know it's a I think there was a little bit of a heartbreak there and and they you know again they I think they demoralized us a little bit in in the third period and so got a little bit away from us uh, we stay you know I thought that we are stayed above the puck and and limited their transition they're tremendous as you see a tremendous transition team their guys like to pull um, they like to get behind you and, and um, you know they got they have good skill in the back end that you don't have to give them a whole lot of time they can find breaking forwards and uh, when they get the puck to those forwards with speed um, they're, they're tough to contain and so I thought we I thought our guys did a really good job of that through the first two periods got in on the four check. I thought we did a better job um, as the first period went on on putting the puck in areas where we could not let them get good looks coming up ice. Um, we were putting it in areas where they're, they were having to make plays with their backs turned and that I think that that, uh, that was a big deal for, for a while. And then like I said, in the third, when they got those looks, you could see what happens. They pull and they go and guys fly and jump and, and uh, they force you to be really Deliberate in what you're doing. Hi, I'm Michael Larock at the Quinnipiac Chronicle. I was just wondering, this is for either of you. I was wondering if you could describe the team's relationship with your student section, especially seeing them make the trip all the way from Michigan to see you guys play today. It um, uh, means a lot. Uh, we have a great. Uh, student fan base, uh, especially back at home, and for them to make, I think, is a 20 hour trip or 20 plus hours uh, means the world, especially with the band. and. When you see them out there for warm-ups, or even when you go out there, it's 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 awesome to have or have people, that many people have your back, especially this far from home. Um, there aren't many games that don't feel like home games, especially with the students. And then uh, you see those people around campus and whatnot, and their familiar faces. So uh, the support means a lot to all of us. And I think at the end of the game, it's uh, I think we want to just give them a little stick tap or a little bit of appreciation, just because uh, it means so much to us. And uh, I think it helps give us some energy and just. Uh, Michigan Tech's a family, so uh, I think that's what makes it so special. Uh, Ryan Lamb with Movie Prospects. Uh, Kyle, what's the mood in the room when you go into uh, the, the first intermission tied 1-1? Um, I mean, we we knew we could play with them, and I mean, obviously, uh, we gave one up early, but to get one on the sh uh, shorthanded, and obviously they have a lot of great players out there on the power play, and uh, that goal gave us a little bit of a jump, and then to come back into the locker room 1 1 and shots uh, relatively even, or probably closer than a lot of people thought they'd be. There's uh, a lot of belief in our locker room, and I think that was kind of the theme for the day. There's a lot of belief in the group, and I think we showed uh, until it got away a little bit, but we can compete with those good players and play in our style and stick into our game plan and allowed us uh, an opportunity to maybe steal the game for a long time. Um, I thought it was a good environment today. I thought it was a good environment last year when we were uh, played Penn State in uh, Allentown. I thought it was a good environment um, in Loveland the year before. Um, we, maybe we've just gotten lucky draws where there's been good fan support. Um, so, I mean, I was, 
I'm old enough to be remember when they were at home sites as well, so I understand I understand that side of it too. Uh, Rob, the other thing, you mentioned three years in a row of tech hockey being in the NCAA tournament. That's a huge accomplishment for us. What are we doing to keep that momentum going next year? Is that for me? Yeah, for you. Um, is <coughs> recruiting, trying to develop uh, young men and, and uh, as as Coop said, that family environment where there's you know the, there's a disappointment. Like we're not. Our, I think we've. I think our guys feel they play for more than just what's in that room. Although there's certainly a lot of love in the locker room, but I think there's a lot of love and respect for our whole community and for pre generations that travel so well to watch us. So um, every year's an adventure. Every year we do a little do it a little bit differently. So we'll get to work on that right now. It's just right now my heart goes out to, uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can. Right now my heart goes out to our to our guys. They believed, um, they believed that uh, that we could advance um, something we haven't done in quite some time. Um, I think, uh, especially those last two years and getting to uh, experience the NCAA tournament, you kind of, especially when seasons end like this, there's never, never a great feeling in that locker room. And I think that kind of allows you to, you, you think about that stage and you think about that feeling after it and uh, all that hard work. And even just like uh, winning the CCHA, that was an incredible feeling. and. Remembering that feeling along with uh, the, the sting of this loss, it kind of fuels us. And like like Joe said, we have a, a family environment and a tight group. So uh, working hard in the summers and then leading up to the season next year, uh, I think we push each other. And we've got uh, great resources to help us develop as players as well. Uh, for Coach, I know it was mentioned three straight tournaments. Uh, you guys are led by a lot of seniors and some grad students. Just I know it's immediately after the game, but when you look back, there's the impact that that class has had on the program. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned. I'm, I, as Kyle was talking, I was thinking about them. That uh, you know, we we have uh, we have a ton of leaders. You know, like like Kyle, and you know, we have a ton of leaders um, within the group. But the seniors were um, first of all, it's always incredible when your seniors are contribute in the way all of our seniors did when your seniors are dressing and they're playing and um, you know they're they're they feel you know what I mean they they feel part you know the career didn't wasn't wasted and things like that um, but the, the group that we have is just unbelievable like that and and the fam again the family like there's so many like they'd have no problem saying to me sit him down you know sit a guy down if he's not you know, um, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get a little choked up. I'm gonna, I, I got, I just have an incredible amount of respect and love for those. Uh, you know, you almost feel, and you never know what's going to go on in, in our exit meetings. But you, you know, you look at the guys that are returning, and you think, okay, there's another day with them. You got another day. Got another day with Kyle. Got another day. But the seniors, you don't. You know, what I mean, especially the fifth year seniors. And, you know, Levi Stabler in there who's getting married this summer and he's this was his last hockey game ever. It's hard for him right now sitting in that locker room, you know. Um, a lot of love in that family for hockey and so uh, our our senior group, a couple third three year guys, one three year guy, some four year guys, a couple of fifth year guys have been a heart the heartbeat of our group.